Vasilisa the Beautiful, a Russian fairy tale. In a faraway land, there lived a soldier and his wife. They had a daughter with a heart of gold. Her name was Vasilisa. The soldier's wife was bitten by a snake and became very ill. Before she died, she told Vasilisa, Vasilisa, whatever happens, my love for you will keep you safe. If you are ever in danger, put your hand on your heart and remember me. Soon the soldier got married again. His new wife and her two daughters were not kind to Vasilisa. They were greedy and evil. That year, the soldier left for a war, and Vasilisa's life became very hard. Her stepmother and stepsisters made her do all the dirty housework, clean, and cook for them. Vasilisa worked day and night, and her new family never thanked her, never got her a treat, a book, or new clothes. At that time, the king decided to marry and started looking for a bride. The stepmother took her daughters to the palace to meet the king, but the king did not invite them back, and everyone knew why. Vasilisa's stepsisters were ugly and had evil hearts. Vasilisa was beautiful and sweet. Her stepmother and stepsisters hated her for this. One day, they decided to get rid of Vasilisa. They ordered her to go to the dark forest and get golden apples from the garden of the dark forest witch. They were magic apples. If you ate them, you would become beautiful like a princess. Vasilisa was scared. Nobody came back alive from the dark forest. But her stepmother said, don't come home without the golden apples. Vasilisa went into the dark forest. She walked and walked. Suddenly she saw a knight all dressed in white on a white horse. The knight asked Vasilisa, Why are you alone here in the dark forest? My stepmother sent me to get golden apples from the garden of the dark forest witch, said Vasilisa. But the wild beasts will tear you into pieces, said the knight. Nobody comes out of here alive. My mother said her love will keep me safe, replied Vasilisa. It is true, said the knight. Love is light. On the road behind me is my brother, the red knight. He is dressed in red, on a red horse. He sees everything and knows everything. Tell him to show you the witch's house. Thank you, my lord, said Vasilisa. She kept walking and soon she saw the red knight. Why are you alone in the woods, he asked Vasilisa. She told him about her stepmother's order. She sent you to your death, said the red knight. Nobody comes back alive from the dark forest. Aren't you angry at your stepmother for this? Just say the word and I will burn her house to the ground. I only wish her to be safe and happy, said Vasilisa. Follow this path, said the Red Knight. On your way, you will meet our brother, the Black Knight. Ask him to guard your stepmother's house while you are away. Vasilisa kept walking, and soon she saw the Black Knight, all dressed in black, on a black horse. My Lord Black Knight, said Vasilisa. Please guard my stepmother's house while I am away. The Black Knight said nothing. He only nodded and rode away. Night fell. Soon Vasilisa came to the house of the dark forest witch. The house stood on chicken legs and turned round and round, keeping an eye on everyone in the forest. It was surrounded by a fence of skulls with burning eyes. The house turned to face Vasilisa, the dark forest witch standing in the doorway. Why are you here, she asked. 
My stepmother ordered me to bring her golden apples from your garden, said Vasilisa. If you do all my housework tonight, said the witch, and make me a dinner, I will give you some apples and let you go. But if you break anything, or don't finish your work on time, you will stay here forever as my servant. She grabbed her broom and flew away. Vasilisa started cleaning and cooking. She worked hard, but there was no light anywhere in the house. A plate slipped from her hands, fell on the floor, and broke. As it broke, it laughed. Then two cups laughed, jumped off the table, and broke. Then the milk spilled all over the kitchen, and the bread fell into crumbs. It was an enchanted house, and it was getting darker and darker. Vasilisa cried. Then she remembered what the white knight said. Love is light. She put her hand on her heart and thought of her mother's love. And suddenly, starlight poured into the house. All the cups and plates that were broken came together and became whole. Invisible hands cleaned every room, filled the house with flowers, and prepared a feast. When the dark forest witch came home, she couldn't believe her eyes. Here are the golden apples from my garden, said the witch. And now I want to know if anybody helped you to do the housework. I will answer your question, said Vasilisa, if you'll tell me about the three knights I met on my way here. White, red, and black. Who are they? These are white day, red sun, and black night, said the witch. Then Vasilisa told her that it was her mother's love that helped her. Leave and never come back, said the witch. The witch's law is evil, and evil knows no love. Vasilisa took the golden apples and went home. At sunrise, on her way back, she saw the red knight again. My lord red sun, she said, how can I thank you for your help? Keep kindness in your heart. Kindness makes the world better, he said. She kept walking, and as the daylight filled the forest, she saw the white knight. My lord white day, she said. How can I thank you for your help? Keep love in your heart. Love makes the world better, he said. When Vasilisa came home, it was still deep dark night in the village where she lived. Her stepmother and stepsisters ran out of the house and told her that there had been no sunrise, that morning never came. They cried and promised to be nice to Vasilisa. Vasilisa looked around and saw the Black Knight. My Lord Black Knight, she said, how can I thank you for your help? Keep patience in your heart. Patience makes the world better, he said. And if your patience runs out, and you cry, may your tears turn into pearls. Vasilisa's stepsisters ate the golden apples and became beautiful. They laughed at Vasilisa and gave her even more hard and dirty work to do. The stepmother ordered Vasilisa to make new dresses for them so they could go to the king's feast. Vasilisa worked days and nights sewing the dresses cleaning and cooking for her family. One day she lost hope that her life would never be better, and she cried. Her tears fell on the sisters' dresses and turned into large bright pearls. Vasilisa kept working. She sewed the pearls to the dresses. The dresses for Vasilisa's stepsisters became so beautiful that her stepmother could not say a bad word about them. The girls put on the dresses and went to the palace. The king thought they were princesses from far away. Where did you get these beautiful large pearls? He asked Vasilisa's stepsisters. We don't know, they said. Ask Vasilisa. Who is Vasilisa? asked the king. She is an ugly, dirty house servant, said Vasilisa's stepmother. Bring her here, ordered the king. 
they brought Vasilisa to the palace. The king saw her and fell in love with her. He took her hand and she smiled. When she smiled, the pearls on her sister's dresses turned into tears and dried up. The sisters started screaming at Vasilisa. And suddenly everyone saw how ugly they were. Because when your heart is evil, your beauty doesn't last. The king sent Vasilisa's stepsisters home and asked Vasilisa to marry him. Soon Vasilisa's father came back from the war and gave Vasilisa and the king his blessing. The wedding was beautiful and the king and Vasilisa lived happily ever after. <laughs>